What's happening, guys? Mr. Allen here. We got ourselves a fun little problem here. Without solving, no solving here, how many real or complex imaginary solutions will this quadratic equation have? Well, let's figure it out. First off, we're going to be using that discriminant once again, right? So that bad boy right there. Commit that to memory, right? That is important. All right. Well, I'm going to plug that into my formula, right? We're set up, ready to go. It's equal to zero. Nothing to do there. So let's see here. B squared. So that's going to be negative 10. Squared, make sure that's in parentheses, right? You gotta square that, becomes positive 100. Minus four times A, which is one, times C, which is 25. So I'm gonna have 100, and then four times one is four, times 25 is 100, and that's negative, right? So minus 100, this is just zero. So if it's zero, we get one real solution. Why is that? Well, if I think about my quadratic formula, it's plus or minus the square root of this discriminant, right? So plus or minus zero, if I add zero and subtract zero, is that gonna change anything? No, I'm only gonna have one unique solution there. So one real solution. Technically what it has is a multiplicity of two. You'll see that when you're graphing, it bounces off the X axis, but that's for another day. For now, we just want one real solution from this guy. That's it, done.